Yo, what's good with it, y'all? We back with another one. NBA Quick Hits Volume 35 Prediction Video Series. Let's get to it, man. What's good with it, y'all? Welcome back to A1 Who Zone. Back at y'all, another one. NBA Quick Hits Volume 35 Prediction Video Series. Uh, before we do any of that, y'all already know what to do, man. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's go ahead and jump into it, man. So we got ourselves 10 games today. So y'all make sure y'all stay locked in for the entirety of the video to get all the predictions. Y'all already know how we do it, man. We're going to do blitz style. We're going to get straight to it. Uh, first game of the night for this one, Hornets versus the Pacers. Uh, I'm going to rock out the Pacers on this one. No disrespect to the Hornets. I just feel like right now, man, the Pacers are playing at a different level. Um, they're clicking on a higher frequency than, than the Hornets are. Some some teams look to, to play down to their to their competition and things of that nature. But I feel like the, the Pacers are a team that look to feast on lower competition and, and rack up those wins to keep themselves relevant and also in the playoff hunt. So I expect them to go in there and beat this Hornets team. Um, now, would I be surprised the Hornets showed up and beat them somehow? No, just because – the Horn this Hornets team, and as much as 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 I want to give them credit like that, man, they they are definitely a roller coaster team. But at the same time, like they they can go in there and get hot and beat any team. We've seen them beat some teams that absolutely did not expect them to beat. We've also seen them blow games and blow leads that that they shouldn't have. So it's like one of those situations where if this team is hot or things like that, man, it could be trouble. But for the most part, they're gonna be cool now, especially with Lamelo being out and things of that nature. Man, is is a totally different team without him out there. But I got the Pacers winning this either way, man. Uh, next game of the night, or the next game up, Jazz versus the Cavs. Again, I repeat, I got the Cavs winning this one. I feel like that team is too talented um, to, to lose to this Jazz team. However, since it is Donovan Mitchell's former team, they may come out with a little extra, you know what I'm saying, um, to, to, to try and, you know what I'm saying, get that get that win. But I think the Cavs may do the same for Donovan. You know what I mean? You got you got Karis LeVert there, Darius Garland, uh, you know, um, Allen is so it, it, they have a nice team. It's just a matter of them putting it together, and I feel like they'll be able to do that against this Jazz team as well, man. So I'm rocking out the Cavs on that one. Uh, Wolves versus the Sixers. I feel like this is either the marquee game of the night or one of the marquee games of the night, just because you got it's it's a great matchup between um between these two teams. You got Carl Anthony Towns on the flip side of that. You got Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. Uh, going head to head, so we'll have to see if Carlton Town shows up. We'll have to see if um, if uh, Rudy Gobert is able to do anything with Joel Embiid or anything of that nature. That's a hell of a matchup. But who do I have winning this one, man? Oh, this is a tough one to pick, man. I'm gonna rock out the 76ers to win this one, man. Um, I I feel like they that Embiid they don't have an answer for Embiid. Carlton Towns nor Rudy Gobert can do anything with them. But on the flip side of that they don't really have anybody that can do anything with Anthony. The Sixers don't have anybody that can do anything with Anthony Edwards, but in the same token, man, Anthony Edwards, they have a lot of bodies they can throw at him as well. So uh, we'll have to wait and see how that pans out with that one. But I'm, I'm going with the, uh, I'm going with the Sixers to win that one, man. Uh, next game up after that, we got the heat versus the magic. Again, another tough matchup in the East. Um, hello matchup between two teams that's playing great basketball. And it's not a for sure win on this one either, man. This is definitely a 50 50 game. Um, some people may have the Magic slightly, slightly a favorite, and some people may have the Heat slightly a favorite as well. It all depends on, on, on how you're looking at it. But for my end, for my prediction on this one, I'm going to rock out the Magic, man. Uh, I feel like they have every answer to deal with the Heat, and they have a talented team to, to be able to keep up the scoring and play defense with them as well. So I'm going to rock out with the Magic to win that one. Uh, Nuggets versus the Raptors. I'm going with the Nuggets. No disrespect to slight to the Raptors, but they've uh, they've proven to me a multitude of times, man, that they they um, they fall short when they're up against you know what I'm saying big the, either the big games or even teams that they're supposed to beat. They fall short. So I'm going with the Nuggets due to the consistency, and uh, I don't think they have an answer for Jokic or, or or Jamal Murray as well. So I'm going with the Nuggets to win that one. Uh, next game after that, Knicks versus the Nets. Tough matchup in the East battle battle with the NY, um, but I'm going with the Knicks, man. Uh, I feel like the Nets do have a, a team that's talented and uh, led by Mikael Bridges, but this this Knicks team has a wave of firepower they can throw at them. So I'm I'm going with the Knicks from that perspective. Uh, Hawks versus the Rockets, again, not not an easy not an easy you know walk in win for the Hawks. You know what I mean? This Rockets team is 
hey, they 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 um they starting to they starting to put it together a little bit. Um, you know what I mean? It's it's fun to watch them. It's fun to see how Fred Van Vliet got these young these young guns over here playing and competing at a high level. Um, who do I have on this one? I'm gonna go with the Rockets for the up, upset of the night on that one. Would I be surprised if the Hawks won? Absolutely not. But I'm going with the Rockets for that one. Lakers versus the Bulls. I got the Lakers. If y'all didn't know, now you know I'm a diehard Lakers fan, but I'm not delusional about my fandom. Uh, I just feel any given night against every team, my team has the opportunity to beat that team. Uh, that's just my bottom line of it. But I think the Lakers should be able to win this, win this and beat the Bulls, man. Now, I think this probably is, again, one of the other marquee matchups of the night, man, the Clippers versus the Mavs. Clippers have been on the roll last, like, what is it, 16 games? They've been 13 and three. So they've been, they've been, uh, they've been, uh, they've been, they've been balling. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it's clicking, but at the same time, I think they, they're just responding to the, um, to, to the energy that was being put out there and, and things of that nature. So I think right now they're just playing off a pure talent of things. So James Harden again is starting to get his game legs under him, but at the same time, um, still doesn't change the fact that he's looked like a freaking NBA all time great in the regular season. And when it gets to the playoffs, man, it just, you know, he, 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 uh, he moonwalks his way into the bushes. If y'all ever seen that Homer Simpson meme, that's what, that's what he does, man. <laughs> but, uh, enough for that, man. Who do I have winning this one? I'm a rock out with the Mavs. I think the Mavs are going to be able to, to answer the bell. I think Luca's going to give them everything that they want and then some. And, uh, if Kyrie is back, we all know how that's going to play out as well. So I'm rocking out with the Mavs to win that one. Another marquee matchup for the night, uh, Celtics versus the Kings. Celtics just came off of a grueling loss to the to the Warriors, man. Went into overtime. Steph Curry happened. Klay Thompson happened. Splash Bros returned, and it, it was that, man. But um, they better hope, you know, Jason Tatum, he did sprain his ankle, so hope it's nothing serious. It is a back-to-back -back night. So I, I'm, I'm, if I'm guessing, I think they probably are going to sit him more than likely. He didn't look – like he was a shell of himself or anything like that, but he also didn't look like the usual, you know, Tatum that's like hyper aggressive and able to to be explosive in any moves that he's making. So uh, with that said, man, I'm I'm going with the Kings. I feel like the, the it's it's right for the pickings for the Kings to go in there and beat this team uh, again with with playing off of a back to back night. They didn't have to travel outside of going to a different city, um, you know, a few hours drive or things of that nature. So. But, again, it's a back-to-back -back night after going in overtime, so that's a lot of minutes on your legs, and this Kings team should be well-rested and, and and fully healthy. So I'm going with the Kings to win that one, man. Um, just as a quick uh, quick recap before I get up out of here, y'all, I got the Pacers beating the Hornets. I got the Cavs beating the Jazz. I got the 76ers beating the Wolves. I got the Magic beating the Heat. I got the Nuggets beating the Raptors. Uh, Knicks beating the Nets. Rockets beating the Hawks. Um, Lakers beating the Bulls. Mavericks beating the Clippers. And the Kings beating the Celtics, man. But that's all I got for y'all. I appreciate you stopping through. Make sure you hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. Leave your predictions there as well if you want to go head to head. Otherwise, man, we're going to continue to grind down and keep cooking, man. So if you appreciate the video, uh, feel free to leave a super thanks or, or any other methods of wanting to support the channel. It's all there for you to see in the description of the video along with scrolling at the bottom as well, man. But again, I appreciate you coming through, and I'll be back at y'all with another one. Oh, 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 oh,